Make sure you subscribe and like this video. What is going on? Everybody on YouTube is Tony Tornado. Yeah. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Yesterday, we attempted the 24 hour spinning a fidget spinner challenge, and ladies and gentlemen, we did it. And I, me, Tony Tornado, became the first YouTuber to this date to ever do the complete fidget spinner challenge, spinning a fidget spinner challenge for 24 hours in its entirety and can prove that it was 24 hours. As you guys can see, I just showed you this earlier, I am uploading the full stream, okay? I am uploading the entire stream to my YouTube channel and I am uploading the I'm sorry I'm so tired still oh my god I'm uploading the entire stream to my channel as proof so now I'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit about the challenge and what happened during the challenge and just help you guys understand things a little bit better so as of this date okay what is today today is the 18th I'm gonna try to get this video up today too so today is the 18th of June that I'm recording this. We did the challenge yesterday. Um, I want you guys to understand that I understand that there's a lot of people that have tried this challenge. There probably is a few people that succeeded this challenge too. I know Lispy Jimmy was one of the people that attempted it. I watched his live stream. I think he might have done it. I don't know. Mr. Beastie, uh, I'm not sure. But see, the problem is, guys, and there's a whole bunch of other people that have tried it too. I just don't know. I just remember watching those two do the live stream of them doing it. But here's the thing, guys, okay? Here's the thing. There is not one YouTuber to this date that recorded their entire live stream in its full, full length, 24 hours, however long they were streaming for. Now, you got to ask yourself this question. Why didn't they record it? I don't know. I can't answer that for you. I really don't understand why they didn't record it. But I recorded the entire stream. So let me explain to you guys what happens. Okay, this is this is an, a video for everybody because you guys got to learn this stuff, okay? YouTube does um YouTube does this thing where they will save your live stream if you stream, but they will compress it to 2 hours, 4 hours, whatever it's going to be. So therefore, if you if you do a challenge like this and you don't record your stream which I don't understand that because that's a common thing for anyone that streams you record what you're doing if you do not record it then guess what YouTube will compress the stream into either two hours four hours whatever it's gonna be it's not gonna be 24 hours so you are responsible for recording the stream 24 hours and once you get it up, once you get it, once you get the video up, I really feel like it's your responsibility to re-upload the video. Um, I'm gonna have this video uploaded in about 13 minutes now. I'm working on it right now. I just put some stuff stuff together for it, but I want this video up and I want it up now. And I recorded it for you guys in its entirety, so I want everyone to understand that I understand that other people have done this in the past. I do get that. I do get that, but to this date, June 18th, 2017, nobody on Fidget Spinners, spin, Fidget Spinner Challenge, whatever you guys want to call it, nobody has the entire recorded full live stream. They have a compressed version. So you can't exactly prove that they were live for 24 hours. And I feel bad, I feel bad for a few people that actually attempted this because, and didn't record it because... They very well could have done it. We don't know. Um, there's a big problem in the YouTube community lately, and it's about clickbait. And a lot of people don't understand, a lot of the, the viewers don't understand that things are clickbait. And someone, some people upload videos like spinning a fidget spinner for like three weeks or whatever. Um, come on. 
it's obviously not real but people click on it and I feel bad for people because they don't understand and youtubers mislead them because they try to screw with you guys and I think that it's wrong I don't think that it should be tolerated and the funny thing is all that stuff that they do how they are trying to give away stuff for fake giveaways to get viewers I'm pretty sure that violates YouTube's community guidelines but whatever it'll catch up with them in the end but ladies and gentlemen I just wanted to make this video as um, as a way to talk to you guys more and more and more about the fidget spinner challenge and what we did because I know there was a lot of people in the live stream guys there was a ton of people in the stream and you guys were all like well wait a minute it's not the world record the world records this and I'm trying to explain to them that if they do not have video proof that they did that then where's the world record proof it'd be like it'd be like if I went to the store right and I bought like 15 books and I came home and I was like oh yeah I have 15 books but then I returned 10 of them back to the store and then my friend came over and said hey man where's your 15 books oh well I had 15 books but 10 of them I returned to the store you believe me don't you you believe that I have 15 books you see what I'm saying it's you can't prove nothing and especially if you showed those if a stranger came in it's like oh no I had 15 books oh okay whatever no one's gonna believe you so guys you have to have a full upload and I'm trying to make this video too because I hope a lot of people that do fidget spinner challenges sees this I really do because there's no reason why you can't record your stream um, I don't understand that at all I really don't I've streamed on many different sites and what I know is you get a stream key from the site that you're streaming on you put it in the system that you're using and you can either record it or not record it it's that simple and I don't want to hear anything about people saying that the, oh, you know the files are big because they don't um, you can record it in an mp4 format it doesn't have to be like full blown out HD quality and like I think my webcam is like 720p or like 1080p and it was recorded in a four a mp4 file and it was just compressed down like it's it's not like it's a shitty quality thing and it recorded for 24 hours so ladies and gentlemen my question still remains for the people that did this challenge where is the recording jeez ah, I'm still trying to wake up guys it's like 1252 right now the video should be up in eight minutes and I'm probably gonna upload this to my vlog channel because that's what I do my vlog slash gaming channel I upload a lot of stuff to my vlog slash gaming channel as well building that channel up as well we did really well. We hit 21,000 subscribers during the stream. We talked to so many different people. And I loved it. That was the first stream that we did on YouTube. I've done, like I said, I've done many streams on other sites, but this was the first stream that I've ever done on YouTube. And I must say, it is not going to be the last. And for everyone that wonders, you know, why did you do this? Why did you do this stream? And I'm going to tell you guys why I did this stream. I did this stream because. Like I said, I live stream on many different things. I streamed on Twitch. I streamed on Instagram. I streamed on Facebook. I streamed on Twitter. I streamed on YouTube. I streamed on a lot of different sites. I streamed on Live.me. I streamed on all kinds of sites. And I wanted to try YouTube because I haven't tried it yet. And I, I really thought, really, what I wanted to do with the channel is I wanted to start doing, along with recording my life story and everything, and all the stuff that happens to me in my life I wanted to also record you for for you guys 24 hour challenges and I thought well hey if we're gonna do these 24 hour challenges I don't wanna clickbait them like a lot of these people do like one of the most popular ones is 24 hour challenge in a box come on seriously like it's BS it's not real and I feel really bad for people that um, fall for that because a lot of the bigger youtubers do that and um, I, if I ever did, and I'm going to be doing other 24-hour challenges, but if I ever did one, if I ever did ones like that, they'd be real. 
Without a doubt, I'm going to find a way to make it real, just like I did with this. I found a way to prove without 100% deniability that I, me, Tony Tornado, did the 24-hour spinning, a fidget spinner challenge, and I recorded the entire thing. No mess-ups. I didn't drop the spinner. The spinner always spun. And I did it. And I'm so happy that I did it. I did not think I was going to be able to do it at first. Like, I, when I was 12 hours in, I was really tired. But I did it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at the clock right now. In six more minutes, the full stream of my challenge will be uploaded to the main channel. This will be uploaded to the vlog channel later today. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are amazing. My name is Tony Tornado. And, ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely love my subscribers.